Hey my honeys, if you have been seeking how to get rid of those crunchy edges, those stubborn glues that want to stick to the lace after you have took out an install, then please stay tuned and watch how we turn this frontal 13 by 4 frontal from this crunchy, gluey, icky mess, okay, on into this clean, satisfying frontal. Stay tuned and keep on watching. I got this uh, 13 by 4 lace. Okay, the 13 by 4 lace is crunchy. Alright, so I already put conditioner along the hairline. Okay, I, I let it sit on there for at least about 10 minutes while I'm sitting here talking to you guys. I had, So I just put it on and it's probably going to take me about 10 minutes to talk to my honeys uh, before I actually start going down and showing my process. But it's been sitting on there, okay? And that's just loosening up that glue. And I used... Uh, it had to be ghost bond glue because if you just use a spray if you just use the gots to be gel that stuff kind of rinses right off it takes a little two breaths to go ahead and scrub scrub but it kind of comes right off but i feel like i used um ghost bond for this lace because it's sticky okay it's, it's coming across as just gluey so you can roll that off in, in your fingers and it's just a ball of you know glue rubber so, this is a good one to show, use as an example to show how to clean that lace. So, for what I do is I put that conditioner on there. You have to go in with a shampoo. Shampoo is to cleanse, okay? And conditioner is to bring back moisture to the hair and moisturize that hair. So, it's not actually getting, it's helping to soften that up. But then again, I'm going to go back. It was so crunchy, my honeys, because this is something that was just sitting over here in the cut for months. Okay, I don't even know when the last time I wore this frontal. So, I don't know. I'm just going in with the conditioner to have to soften it up because it's been just sitting there crunchy. The baby hairs is still in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, yeah, I got to really get these the softened up. Because if you just go in and get the combing on it, um... You will break hairs off from your lace, and you don't want to do that. And just like your real hair, it will break off. So I just go in with the conditioner to soften all that up, okay? I wet it down, and then as I wet it down, my honeys, I make sure to detangle the actual hair first. I make sure I get it all combed out, everything. I probably will put the shampoo along it and kind of just brush it through with the help of the water and the shampoo and make sure everything is combed through and then once I have all my hair organized to come through I go focus on the lace okay so at this time I will probably be rinsing off the conditioner that I had there but really my honeys the more the better I will just mix that shampoo with the conditioner okay so at the same time that it's cleaning I still got my moisturization sitting there softening it up and keeping it soft because we know that shampoo dries your hair out and makes it brittle so um instead of going in straight with that shampoo which is if it's brittle yes it will start mm -hmm. losing hair from that lace and you don't want a bald head lace so you want to keep as much hair as possible and I just kind of mix everything together and take a toothbrush and kind of scrub at that glue. Now, as I'm scrubbing at that glue, okay, it's so softened up that I'm able to kind of go in with my finger and peel, 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 okay? It's a process. It takes time, nothing to be rushed through. I would just keep getting those little stubborn areas, and then I would just keep targeting it, playing with it, targeting it, playing with it, boom. Then I move to another area and let that area sit with the product on there. So therefore, it's still softening and getting ready to come on and be pulled up off of there. So it's just something that you have to play with, work with, all that.
as I am brushing my honeys, I am making sure that I'm brushing up, down, across. I'm, I'm rotating this brush in so many angles. So therefore, you will be kind of like triggering that glue because it can get pretty stubborn. And the more you move that brush across that glue, it's loosening it up. So the water kind of helps the shampoo not to dry out and all of that. And the water, the shampoo, the conditioner mixture, okay, it's just further helping that glue to unbond from the lace okay and um i think this will work for all glue types it doesn't really matter like i said you can do this step with the spray if you just use the spray okay it may not take as much scrubbing but it's the same steps that's going to lead to getting the removal and getting that clean lace that you want but i'm not scrubbing hard this is probably a soft brush at that to where i want to comb through them hairs as well you know with my brush so once you get the scraping on that glue like that my honeys and it starts to peel off and come off it would leave um residue in the hair like dandruff so you take that brush and you kind of brush through that hair too to get it out of there and don't forget to flip your lace and also do the top you got to clean the top of it as well so because as you're pushing on it as you see i got it laid on that counter it's pushing the glue through the lace too so i'm flipping it and cleaning both sides and making sure I brush through them hairs and get all the residue out and also clean the top of that lace okay so it's just you know flipping it front back doing what you got to do scrub it down and just be very gentle because you don't want to start um, messing with those knots and kind of plucking the hairs out and then you will have you know a thin lace and then you will be shortening the width of what you would need like 13 by 4 13 by 6 so you have a 13 by 6, and you will make it a 13 by 4, having to cut all that uh, ball spot out. <laughs> if you got a 13 by 4, you will have a 13 by 2, having to cut all that ball spot out because you done sat there and brushed the life out of that edge, you know. So just be gentle, my honeys, and don't get no hard brush. Use a soft brush. Once you rinse it off as if you feel like you got everything off, when it's all said and done, my honey, you will rinse it and then you will look and see what's left, okay? If there's still little spots left, I'll put shampoo on those little spots and then I'll scrub at it and play with it and pick at it and get it off like that, okay? That's the way that I would do it. If you know any other way to clean the lace, my honey, leave me a comment below so we can get into it, okay? Because I personally just take this route, okay? I don't know if it's the longer route or however, but it's safe and everything is not going to be ripping out hairs and stuff if you be gentle. And this whole process, my honeys, only took about maybe 20 minutes, okay, from start to finish. So I put that conditioner on there from the beginning and let that sit for about 10 minutes. That doesn't even count towards the actual scrubbing process, okay? But it did lessen the actual scrubbing process, so we can work with that, okay? Um, you may not have as much glue. You may have more glue because, like I said, usually I'm only using two layers, and some people using five, okay? So the more layers you use, take into consideration, it may be a little longer of a cleanse. But that lace is pretty clean, okay? Ain't a stain on it, my honeys. Ain't that right, me? Everything is said and done. I put it on my dome, okay? I put it on my um, wig head. And then I blow dry it out, okay? Now, if you ain't, if you got all day, don't blow dry it out. Let it air dry, just sit it there, set it and forget it. But you do want to comb it all to the back. Okay, you want to comb it all to the 
straight back, get the autumn hairs out your way. And at that time, my honey, if you see any areas that need to be plucked, you go in and you pluck it. Okay, so this will be a frontal ponytail, and I do want it to look as natural as possible. I have done a frontal ponytail on my channel before, okay, and me looking back at that, oh wow, it's like, girl, that hairline was thick, you better go, and it didn't look nothing like your hair, and you know what I'm saying, I, I peeped it, my honeys, I peeped it. We have turned this frontal from crunchy, honey, to nice and clean. All we have to do is bleach knots, so if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to check out the video, my honeys, of me installing this frontal for our frontal ponytail with the butterfly braid, my honeys. At this point of the video, I will see my honeys on the next one. The next one. Bye, guys. Love you guys.